first thing you have to do is set up a new model on your radio. You press and hold the mode button, then select model selection and you choose a new option. You press and hold select, the radio will ask if you're sure and you press once to say yes. You then give this option a name. It's best to choose a short name here as you can see from the menu. You then have to ensure that the correct model type is selected. You go back to the main menu, select model selection and select aircraft. You can change this depending on if you're flying a fixed wing uh, or anything else. So we now move on to the actual binding of the receiver. It helps if you have a friend here who can lend a hand, so you need to press the bind button on the receiver at the same time as plugging in the battery to power the receiver. When you do this, you'll see the red LED flashing on the receiver. You then turn on the radio and after a few seconds the receiver should bind and the light will stop flashing. You can also check that the receiver is bound correctly by looking at the link status on the radio. A signal will appear here when bound. You can then see that the receiver is receiving signal from the radio. If you are binding the Mini R6DS, you'll notice that it has both an SBUS and PPM output. You can change between these two easily with a simple push of a button. To change the mode, push the button twice and when the light is red, it is in SBUS mode. To change the mode to PPM, push the button twice again and the light will turn purple and you'll be in PPM mode. And that's it, thanks for watching.